Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another Inform Player Review with me, Boy FIFA One HD. We are going to be looking at the 84-rated Parolo card. But before we do, it would mean a great deal to me if you would hammer that like button if you enjoy the video, and if you have any questions on Parolo or FIFA 17 in general, leave that all in the comments below. I love reading what you guys think, and I love answering your guys' questions. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out an awful lot. So jumping right into his stats and as you can see it is an absolute sea of green. There is so much to love already. You know his aggression, his strength is superb, sprint speed uh, very nice, attack positioning and vision very very good indeed, jumping not too bad there at all. So much, so much to love. And that continues here with the skill attributes as well. Ball control, very nice. Dribbling, not too shabby. Finishing, long shots and shot power, all very, very nice. His passing is superb. His tackling is also on point as well. And volleys, not too shabby either. We move on and we see a four-star weak foot, which is very nice. Three-star skills, which is neat and tidy. And a high-medium work rate as well as the distance shooter speciality and the long shot taker and outside of the foot shot traits. So let's jump into the main block of the review. So my thoughts on Inform Parolo were that this guy is just absolutely immense. He is so good no matter where he finds himself on the pitch. It's unreal. You can play him at Cam, Central Midfield, CDM. He is going to do an absolutely solid job in any of those roles, which is brilliant. I would recommend playing him at central midfield because then I think he will get involved in all of those areas and you'll really see the benefit of having this card. His pace, starting off with that area, it's really solid. You know, 75 pace overall. Doesn't necessarily have the uh, the acceleration, but when he does get going, you know, 78 sprint speed is actually pretty good. And he does feel quite nippy, which is really nice and uh, very handy for attacking and defending. In terms of his attacking qualities, his shooting is brilliant and it's a great area on this card. You know, his one-on-one -on -one finishing is neat and tidy. It's not the best part of his shooting game, but he can do it and he can do it well, which is exactly what you want when you're paying this sort of money for this sort of card. Where he really excels, however, is his shot power and long shots. I mean, this guy can really hit the ball. So definitely have a few pop shots with him, I mean, you know, from anywhere just outside the area to, to around 30 yards. And he is going to be hitting the target most times. And most of those are going to be nestling in the bottom corner, which is always really good. So he's got that, that area and he's also got some heading ability too, which is really nice. Whether it's from a corner, attacking or defensively, you know, he's good in both areas. And he can certainly score you a few headers, which is really nice. His positioning also really helps with heading and the goal scoring opportunities because he makes really nice runs. He's always putting himself in good areas. And this is also mirrored in his defensive work because he puts himself in really good positions to make interceptions, to win the ball back. And when he is in those areas, he's very good at doing it. His tackling is brilliant. He's got nice strength, nice aggression. He just really is such a solid, well-rounded player. It is unreal. His passing is another fantastic area. He plays such good killer through balls. He can cross the ball really well, you know, play long diagonal balls, short passing is neat and tidy. You are definitely going to rack up a lot of assists with this guy. As you'll see in this video, he already got me a few in the short time that I had him. So if you do purchase this card, you are going to be very pleased with how many chances he creates for others, as well as how many chances he finishes for himself. His dribbling isn't overly amazing, but it's very good. You know, 81 overall. Uh, with his ball control and, uh, and, and dribbling, he, he's nice. You know, it feels good. He feels like he can get the ball out of his feet quite easily. So overall, on that regard, his dribbling is pretty neat and tidy. But what I love about this card is just overall how good he is. You know, if you've already got his SBC card, you will already know this because the two cards are so similar. So if you do already have that card, I wouldn't recommend going out and buying this one. 
because they're virtually the same bar a few differences. His price, he's currently going for around sort of 60, 65K. And I think that's a really good value, to be quite honest. If it does drop a little bit less, you are getting even more of a bargain. But even at this price, I think you are getting one hell of a player. That's why I've had to give him 8.5 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and peace.